In Creo Schematics, there are two different ways of creating cables. One is with a predefined artifact, and the other way is by bundling cores, pretty much creating a cable on the fly. In another video, I showed the first method, and that method with the predefined artifact involves creating a bunch of different data tables. So for example, in another video, I created the data tables for a cat cable. You're gonna have three different data tables. You're gonna have the main cable definition, and that's gonna have the various different cables in there. That is going to point to a member map, and the member map is going to point to individual wires and fibers that are contained within the cable. And then you go to the Catalog Explorer, and you are going to create your individual cable definitions. It's going to have different properties associated with it. It'll have at least one sheet that defines the shape with a number of different wires, any different cable decorations. Maybe you'll have some shields in there. So again, that's the predefined method. The other method involves bundling cores pretty much on the fly, but before you can do that, you have to set something up in the Catalog Explorer. So I will go over here, let's go to the folder where I want to create it, and I'm gonna call it, let's see, let's cl click on this button to create a new group. Then I will right click on it and then go to Properties, and for the name, I'm gonna choose something generic in case I wanna use this for various different cable so I will call it cable and let's go to the type over here we're going to change it from the component to connection cable let's click the OK button and the next thing I'm going to do in here while I am here is to add the necessary parameters in order to facilitate logical referencing in other words exporting the XML file and then reading it into Creo parametric so let's see some of the different ones I need in here let me scroll down and try to find them here we have minimum bend radius that is required let me scroll down some more let's see D -d 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 -d. holding down the control key to select thickness and then units and let's see I missed one let's see spool name is in here somewhere again I'll hold down the control key and the last one that I need did I get number of conductors nope I didn't get it here we go num cond and then I'll click the OK button now we have those different parameters listed in here so this is good I will click the OK button and there I have my generic cable created Next, I will create a shape for this. You can right click on it and choose new shape, or after you've clicked on it, you can use this icon to create the shape. And we will use the new group template. I'll click the OK button. You can right click and change the sheet parameters if you want to. And so maybe I'm gonna call this, this is going to be my cable shape. But you really don't need to change anything in here. Let's click the OK button. Uh, this button over here also allows you to access the properties of the shape, and you can see that it's got the same parameters that it inherited from the group definition. All right, that's good. Let's click the OK button out of here. You'll notice that we just have the shape over here, a generic new group template shape. If you have a shield, you will need to go into the shape and add the shield wire to the definition. But if you don't have any shields, then you are good to go. And in this particular case, I just have four wires. Maybe one of these is going to be the actual shield itself. Uh, but in this particular case, now if I want to create my different cables, I'm going to select the individual cores using the control key. So now that I've got these four selected, you can use the Create Cable icon. And here it lists all the different cables that you have in your design. Here is the generic cable that I just created. Let's click the OK button. And then it's automatically going to give you one cable decoration. You can hold down the right mouse button to select a different cable decoration. For example, maybe I just want overall solid and then position it where you want it to be. If you want to get a decoration over on the other side, you can just select the cable, which I find easiest to do by selecting the first decoration. Then you can go to the Cable Overflow menu and choose Add Cable Decoration. And then once again, I'm going to change the type of decoration by using the right mouse button. 
and then position it where I want. All right, let's repeat that two more times, and I'm going to go through that just at a higher speed. All right, so I've created my three different cables on the fly. Last thing I'm going to do is change the different properties so that I can use it in an XML file for logical referencing inside of Creo Parametric. Let's bring the parameter panel open. That's probably the easiest way to do that. And I'm going to select the three different cables by using the control key and then picking on the decoration. And here you can see we have the various different parameters in here. Let's see for the first thing I'll do, let's go to the thickness, which is unset. And I'll select all three fields in here and then use the pencil icon to fill in the value. And for the thickness, and let's use the value of 0.5. Then let's go to the minimum bend radius, select these three over here, and then again use the pencil. In this case, I'll use 2x, twice the thickness. Let's use a value of 1. And now let's go to the units and pencil icon. I'll use inch. And let's see, here we have three different cable names, so I'm fine with that. Just checking the other things real quick. Oh, number of conductors. Let's change that. Four. And the spool name. Use the edit icon. And for lack of originality, I'm going to call it cable spool. So that way, I've got everything filled in over here. And I am ready to send the information to an XML file for routing in Creole Parametric. Let's go to File, Export, XML. And then for the file selector, where do I want to save this out on my computer? Let me navigate to the folder that I'm going to use. Oh, type in the name over here for the file. Click the Open button. Target Application. Let's change this to Cabling. I just want this sheet to be exported. And try validate XML. Looks like there's some properties I need to fill in for the connectors, but for now, let's just click the OK button and it is exported. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindchill.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button and ring the bell to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.